2020 was an extraordinary year dominated by a global pandemic. All around the world, people were affected and had to change the way they worked, traveled, and communicated. Some of the changes required during the pandemic could have an unexpected impact on the safety and security of workers that deal with hazardous substances. CCPS has collected information on over 60 significant process safety incidents around the world during 2020, 17 of which are categorized as major incidents. On August 6th, CNN reported that at least 137 people were killed and 5,000 were injured in a massive explosion that shook Beirut, Lebanon on August 4th, according to Lebanon's health minister. As people started looking at the incident, it became evident that similar ammonium nitrate incidents have occurred elsewhere in the past. Within days of the incident, countries around the world started to survey their own ports and warehouses, demonstrating how quickly we could learn from incidents, even before an investigation begins. In January, an explosion at a chemical plant in Spain propelled a large, heavy plate over three kilometers away that killed a man. On January 24th, an explosion at a manufacturing facility in Houston killed two people and damaged over 200 homes. In India, the Assam Bajan oil and gas incident began as a gas leak on May 27th. Then on June 6th, it erupted into a large blowout. The fire lasted until it was finally extinguished six months later, after resulting in two deaths large-scale local evacuations, and major environmental damage. Also in India on May 7th, a significant styrene gas release killed several people and put hundreds into the hospital with breathing difficulties. The incident took place in an eastern India coastal industrial port city of about 5 million residents. Then during the middle of 2020, Russia experienced an environmental incident of major proportions. More than 20,000 tons of diesel fuel leaked into the Ambarnaya River. This incident is considered the second biggest oil spill in modern Russian history. The 64 incidents we collected happened in 19 different countries. But that distribution may not be representative of the safety performance in each region. In any case, each incident can have lessons that may be applicable across all regions and various industries. If it's a process safety incident, we want to know about it, because it's an opportunity for lessons learned to be preserved for future generations to remember and use that would otherwise be lost forcing us to pay to be taught the tragic lessons again. CCPS is not responsible for conducting worldwide investigations. Despite that, CCPS is still a world leader in process safety with a diverse membership that strives to reduce process safety incidents by maintaining a sense of vulnerability. The constant reminder and awareness of current events promotes that sense of vulnerability. This awareness comes from a variety of media sources summarizing the initial information available following a process safety incident. The information is collected as it becomes available so we can provide a timely synopsis of the year's process safety incidents based on CCPS's perspective. At CCPS, we believe every incident can be prevented and our members are committed to working together to be stronger, smarter, and more effective in the ongoing effort to reduce these incidents to zero.